Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is, what's in the box? In regards to this, Founders of Gloomhaven, though Gloomhaven is really tiny, it's way over there, you can barely see it. So you basically they just want to call the game Founders, I think. Founders of Gloomhaven from Cephala Fair Games. This game is, of course, the follow-up to the hit board game, the still current number one board game in the world, Gloomhaven. This, i got to say, did not do very well from what I've seen. Um, the problem is, it's a standalone Euro game that has nothing to do with the original except theme and background and story. So I think a lot of people were expecting a Gloomhaven life experience from this game, despite the fact they kind of tried to hide the Gloomhaven aspect of it. But everyone was so excited for Gloomhaven, they rushed out to get this. That said, I've heard this is a fantastic game. It's supposed to be a fairly heavy Euro, and I like heavy Euros, so I am looking forward to checking this out. And you're going to get to see what's in this box at the same time I do for the first time live, so that should be pretty cool. Before I go there, though, I just do want to point out that you can find me on the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, pretty much everywhere. And our base of operations is the website, tabletopbellhop.com, where you can find all kinds of gaming content like unboxing videos like this, actual plays, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. See, we are trying to be a Dear Abby for Gamers, answering questions from gamers from around the world. You can send questions to us by emailing us, questions at tabletopbellhop.com, or heading over to the website and clicking on Ask the Bellhop. Now, before I get started, just make sure you hit that subscribe button before I keep going, because I love to see our subscriber number going up, and we are trying to hit a 1,000, because that will break the doors open on YouTube and get our content out to more and more people, and I would love that to happen by the end of this year. If you're on it and you already see a 1,000, just send us a congratulations, and thank you all for subscribing. Enough about me. We're going to move on to this game. First thing I'm going to do is go through. I will show you the back of the box. You've got a very interesting, like you said, very much not Gloomhaven, the board game. Uh, we are going to go through this quick. It says, the city of Gloomhaven was not always a bustling hub of commerce and intrigue hundreds of years ago, so way before the board game. It was nothing but the ruins of a long-dead civilization. But as the human spread across the map, making a tenuous peace with the Valrath to the south, the Inox and Vermlings of the forest and the Orchids and Quatrills across the ocean, plans were drawn forth to build a new town on the eastern shores. It was to be a symbol of the many races working in harmony. This is the story of that endeavor. There's a list of the components. I'm not going to go through that because you will get to see that once I open it up. It also notes, in Founders of Gloomhaven, players will lead a race of Gloomhaven residents in an effort to be the most influential contributor to the city's construction. Told you, it's a Euro game. Through card-based action selection, players will leverage their own resources and the resources of the other players to construct advanced resources and prestige buildings on a shared city board. How many times do they say resources there? Nice thing to see here is there is a video overview at GamingRules.com. Thumbs up, Paul. All right, we're going to crack this open. I'm going to cut the shrink wrap off, and then I'm going to tip things down. And then we will crack this bo box open and show you what we get inside. All right, here we have the very shiny. You can't actually tell that well in the video, but a very shiny box. Very um, drab artwork, to be honest. So it's very neat looking. You can see uh, some of the, the main characters from Gloomhaven even head into the city here. Uh, I already showed you the back of the box. We're going to try to get this to slide open. Oh, it slides open pretty nicely. Right on top, we have a surprisingly thin rule book. Not that it's too thin, but that's just thinner than I expected. Uh, again, stop if you want. You can watch the video at Gaming Rules. We have an awesome full list of components. i got to say, this already looks like Gloomhaven. It's got a very similar style with the, the headers and the images underneath. The artwork is, of course, the same style. Looks like the board's going to be two-sided. Got nice big text. I love the size of that font. That is fantastic. Love to see large font like that. I'm getting old. Some nice call-outs in different colors. We got lots of examples showing actual game components. Got it looks like we're gonna have a whole bunch of cool looking minis to look at. Meeple. Different zones on the board. Lots of text, but also lots of examples. Some nice headings, uh, gameplay structure, 
Still going. Looks like we're going to have lots of tiles once we get a little deeper into the box. You know what? This is a little thicker than it felt. We're up to 15 pages so far. There we go. So we are at 16 pages. Not, not overwhelming, but not too short either. Then we have the solo play, which I know a lot of people are excited about nowadays. People are really into solo gaming right now. And a whole bunch more variants listed at the end of the book. And some reminders on the back. I didn't see any type of summary sheet, so I'm hoping there's something in the box. Then we get to our map. Which, based on what I saw earlier, wow! Look how full this box is. Like, that, to the brim. Like, there, there is maybe a millimeter more space here. Holy cow, cardboard. I know people are a big fan of box inserts for Gloomhaven, the original game. I might want one for this. So first we're going to fold this out and show it off as best I can. It should all fit in camera, barely. Not quite. So as noted in the um, rule book, you have two sides. This is a much more symmetrical side of the board. And then you have an asymmetrical side of the board. I see the base actions list at the bottom. I love the size of these texts. There is a, uh, a grid on here that looks to be a little smaller than one inch. A few different terrain types. Nice thick board. Folds up nice. No complaints about the board. All right, we're going to have lots of punch boards to show you. All of these have a slight glossy coat to them. The coins are actually identical to Gloomhaven, which is nice. Nice thick card. What I'll do is when I get to one of the bottom ones, I'll try to punch this just to see how good it is. Uh, Two-sided tokens. Some very polyomino shaped things. I'm reminded of games like Princes of Florence. Seeing those. Oh, there you go. You can see how this just popped. So this is punched really nicely. And it's done in that style of the die cut where there's no jaggies, no edges to any of this that I can feel. There's a little tiny bump right there. That is a really nicely cut board. I'm going to try to set this back in here. I notice each tile has uh, different colors and symbols on them. There. Hopefully that will stay in there. Because otherwise I'm never going to get this box shut. We got some circles, squares, diamonds. A whole bunch. Well, there's a ton of these polyominoes. A ton of polyominoes. Different shapes. Uh, they also say what they are on them, which is cool. Like This says the North Gatehouse. It says the sail bar the salt barrel. That's this piece here. On the other side, it is still the salt barrel, so probably just different ways you can lay the same tile. We have what looks like a tech tree potentially here. I don't know. We have interesting looking. Again, I know nothing about the game itself except for the fact it's a fairly heavy euro. Ooh, now we have lots of little square tiles. These look like roads. So I think we're going to build roads between those buildings. Some have trees in the middle of them. Some have... What the heck? Stones. Like stones, rocks, decorations. No clue if any of this matters or if it's just artwork. Now we have bridges. And who knows? Individual houses. These appear like they might be in player colors. Oh, so the whole box is not tiles. I was a little intimidated there. So we have some form of player boards. What I will do is I will crack open one of the two of these. So I'm going to leave this one in the box and leave that for you to discover later on your own. To quote someone who does much better videos than me, Mr. Rodney Smith. Uh, these are in resealable bags, but I'm probably not going to bother putting that back in there. So you have a player board that says Orchid. So again, these player boards are going to be based on the races. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to open the other one because there's something different in the back of it. All right, fair enough. So we have the Orchid player board. It's got a story on the back. It's got all kinds of symbols. I What's interesting is I don't know which side you use to play. Oh, it's the same information, but in different places. So this could be a left-hand, right-hand kind of thing because it counts 1 to 10, counts 1 to 10. Now that's kind of on the same side. We have the Harrower. We have the humans, the inox, the quattro, and yeah, I'm going to crack this open because I noticed there was at least one board in here that's different, so fair enough. Tried to save a bit of time.
Okay, I am failing miserably. We have the Savas. That was my first character I ever played in Gloomhaven. We have the Vermlings. We have the Volrath. And the Acer. I have no idea if these are asymmetric or not. I'll learn that when I read the rules. And here's what I want to show off is there's also this card, which has slots at the top for it looks like holding more cards. Who knows? We're going to toss all these aside and get to a bag and a half of components. We're going to put that aside just for a minute. Show off. We get baggies. Always a big fan. Thank you, Isaac and Cephalofair, for including baggies with your game. Always appreciate it when companies run baggies. We even have two different sizes. We have some small cards and some large cards. We're going to crack open the small cards quickly. Let's see. Buy back. So the building guide. So that's what that, that was a building guide. What I called the tech tree. Um, and then on this side we have knowledge, metal, population, stone, crops, gems, wood, and livestock. Seems like a lot of things to keep track of there. Then we have, it looks like effects. It says immediate, 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 end game. So these are cards that are going to come up and do something. Deliver a resource to three different prestige buildings and th get three points for doing so. Build an advanced resource building in all three city sectors. End game would be own more buildings in a city section than any other player. So these are obviously goals for the players to try to achieve. We'll slip these back into that baggie quickly. And I say quickly because I'm guessing my editor is going to speed this up. And move on to a pack of cards. Oh, that's interesting. That looks like a city event from Gloomhaven. To the fact that I almost wonder if you can put that in Gloomhaven. Hmm. But that is exactly what a city event for Gloomhaven looks like. Alright, that was the most difficult pack of cards I've ever had to open. So we have a whole bunch of cards that say city. And I gotta admit, they really look like Gloomhaven cards. Uh, even the bat even says rip up. So I am guessing these cards may actually get put into Gloomhaven. Which could be really cool. I had no idea there was a crossover between the two games. But looking at these, these really look like crossover to Gloomhaven. I don't want to spoil much of that, so we're not going to read any of these. But there are city cards for Gloomhaven. I don't want to get too close. There's a spot to write in your city name on here, it looks like. So it looks like you may be able to play this to create your own version of the city for Gloomhaven. If that's true, that is really cool. And why did I not know this before? Because that is really neat. Alright, we have... These cards, whatever the that's supposed to be on the back, but front side, you got some really nice artwork. This is a recruit, a scholar. Not going to go through all of them, but nice looking cards. Now I will point out, these are slightly warped, and they came out of the package like that. They got a bit of a bend to them. That's a little disappointing. They're very thin cards. So quality could have been a bit better on those. Alright, next we have a bunch with this symbol on the back. Oh, no, we have four with that symbol on the back, and we're back to the other symbol. So these four, this looks like some kind of summary card. Because they're all the same. Uh, these all say Income, Recruit, so these are just more cards. Whatever that deck of cards is, same set of cards. Then we have some two-sided cards. These look like different, I don't know, buildings that are in the game. So it shows off, it says the Ghost Fortress. Then on the back it's got information on the Ghost Fortress. And then it's got the North... Gatehouse and information on the back. This could be every building in the game for all I know. You got the Archer's gar Garrison, which shows a tile. Yeah, these are all showing tiles. So these are all the specific tiles that we saw there on the top of the box. 
And that is it, except for wooden bits, which we'll get to next. First, though, I am going to take these cards and throw them in one of these plastic baggies so they don't just get lost in the box. All right, let's move this out of the way because there's a ton of wood here to go through. This looks the most interesting, so we'll save it for last. All right, wooden cubes. I'm just going to take out a small handful of these. They are wooden cubes. Not much more to say there. Interesting color choices. I don't know if that's a color blindness friendly thing or what, but I'm not going to count them, but you get a bag full. Similarly, wooden discs in the same colors. These are very light. Whatever wood they're made out of is extremely light wood. Uh, no. None stuck together, anything like that. Solid quality. Look well painted. I don't see any chips. Nothing to complain about there. And then the most interesting stuff here. We got all kinds of interesting wooden bits. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. So, we have gray people, meeple. Gray meeple with robes. Three of them, so there's probably three of each of these. We have purple meeple with robes. We have red people with spiky hair. So unique meeple for each of the races is my guess. Brown people. Blue meeple. People meeple. White meeple. It's interesting as it's one-sided. Orange meeple. That's a busy merson. I have all the colors yet. Nope. Green. Well, green are very unique looking. Green cultist looking meeple. Uh, yellow meeple. Okay, we got, oh yeah, I got that red, I got that, I got purple, I got white. All right, the other thing I am seeing in here that are not people, so there we go, there's all the people. We have buildings, which I have no clue. We have an orange building. They're all unique. We have a purple building. A green building. A red over like a mountain. Yellow. And black. And then finally, a big Gloomhaven shield. Again, all one side. All the meeples are one sided. Fair enough. Looks interesting. I have no clue what these are for, what they're used for. Um, it said card-based action selection, so I don't think it'll be worker placement, but who knows. And that's it. That is what you get in Founders. Better known as Founders of Gloomhaven. Looks like there's quite a bit of ties to the actual game, at least in the races and everything. I really think it's neat that there's some city cards. I want to know what to do with those. Do we have to finish a game of this and then add that to our Gloomhaven game? If there's some legacy aspect of this that impacts Gloomhaven, I'm going to be very impressed. So yeah, there is a bunch here. I don't know. I don't know what they're for, but those are Gloomhaven City cards with definite like Gloomhaven things on the back. That I don't want to spoil because I don't even want to read them myself. So, um, insert. Eh, not overly excited about that. But lots of baggies to control everything. I'm probably going to pull this out and toss it once we get everything in assembled. Baggies, baggies, baggies. Those were what those boards were in. I didn't want to put them back in. Then, a rather solid amount of cardboard. And the board and the lid. So, 
there you have founders or founders of Gloomhaven. Know how small the Gloomhaven is. This is not a continuation of the original game. It is set many hundreds of years before the board game uh, of the number one game in the world. Though while unboxing this, I did discover a set of city cards for the Gloomhaven uh, cooperative adventure game. So that's interesting to know. I don't know what happens with those, how those tie to this, or how that ties to the main game. But it looks like there's more ties to the main game of Gloomhaven than I thought in this. Uh, lots of polyominoes, lots of cards. Rule book was fairly significant. This looks like a nice heavy euro. Lots of resources to manage. Said card-based action selection. Looks cool. Looks like my kind of game. I dig heavier euros. And I do get why people who are expecting more Gloomhaven might be disappointed with this box. Uh, but I think if you read the back, you'd know what was coming. So that has been a Tabletop Bellhop cardboard coat check. You can find us all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Be sure to hit up our website, tabletopbellhop.com. Check your podcatcher of choice for the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, where every week we answer one or more of your gaming or game night questions. We also do a board game review as well as a look back at the games we played every week. If you dig the content you've been seeing and want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. That's it for me tonight. I am done unboxing for the day. That was five in a row. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more unboxing videos like this one. And thank you for joining in. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzno. Good night and game on.